This summer I went to Panama for a week or so and I spent uh, several days up on a farm up in the western mountain region of Chiriqui and I, it was just amazing. And I took so much video, I didn't even know what to do with it all. I was so daunted by how much I had and I thought I would just splice together a little something here to give you a taste of what that area is like. You can see in this one, I just got in when I filmed this and it was raining and raining and raining. Uh, the tropical rain coming down. It was just starting to clear when we took this video. And um, I stayed up with a far family called uh, the Hartmans that have been living there for generations, farming coffee. In fact, the road we're driving on uh, was actually staked out and charted by uh, the grandfather of the current generation of Hartmans. He charted it out in 1946, I think, um, on with a horse and a mule. And uh, now it's a nice paved road, very curvy. It's way up in the mountains. Um, they put it as far away from the ocean as they could to protect it from shelling by battleships um, because they were still not sure if the canal zone was gonna be a peaceful area. I think that's a fascinating story. There's a lot more to tell about it. But anyway, back to the coffee. This is all coffee region, as you can see. It's very mountainous and very curvy roads. And the weather would just change so quickly. Um, just from one valley to the next. I've seen that, of course, before in other regions, coffee areas, but I've never seen it change so radically, so quickly as it does in Chiriqui. In fact, um, that night it was raining, so I just, I, this was inside my little cabin I was staying in. It sounds like traffic, but it's just rain. This is nothing but rain. As a Northwesterner, you know, I love the sound of rain, uh, but this was, <laughs> this was the kind of rain if you go outside and stand in it, you, you can't breathe no. uh, because there's so much water in the air. It's incredible. And then the next morning, we go out to, uh, to drive to the coffee farm, and um, it's beautiful again. And you can really get a, a vision for how green this area is. Um, we were driving up to a farm called Finca Sofia, I've shared videos from Sofia before. Um, this was my first trip there, but I have videos that my friend Willem Boot uh, took because it's actually um, his farm. And Kelly Hartman, who's the brother of Ratibor, is driving me right now. You might be able to hear me yakking away in the background in my um, terribly <laughs> uh, stulted Spanish. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, so we went up to the farm, and uh, Kelly, right, Kelly um, is the manager of it. Willem is one of the owners. He co-owns it with um, women from Equator Estate Coffee. And it's the highest coffee farm in, um, in all of Panama, actually. It's one of the highest coffee farms, as far as I know, in all of Central America. And um, the... Before you actually get up to the coffee areas, you, um, there's lots of dairy around and they plant other kinds of items. And again, with these videos, I just wanted to give you an idea of what the countryside looks like there and what the sky looks like. Um, we spent a lot of time learning about coffee up there and I want to share some of that with you. A lot of it uh, is in Spanish and I want to give a good translation for everybody who doesn't speak Spanish out there. So I'm going to wait to, um, to share that with you. But right now, just to give you an idea of what's headed your way, here we are driving up into the entrance of um, Finca Sofia. And in fact, Kelly is explaining to me right now as we're driving uh, about how first they had to see if the plants would even grow at that altitude. And yes, they are. And then they had to see if, the, um, if they would flower. And yes, they have. And um, in all modesty, they, they predict that now people will begin to, um, uh, to follow in their footsteps in terms of planting that high. They took a big risk to do it uh, because it could, have, it could have not turned out. Uh, but so far it has, and they expect to harvest um, within another year and a half to get a full harvest uh, with blessings. And um, this is the last clip here for this particular video, and I just wanted to show you what the farm looks like.
sometimes at the end of my videos, I just have to turn the camera on myself just to kind of prove to myself that I was there. Sometimes I come back from these trips and I, I forgot to take a single picture of myself. And um, so there, anyway, there's my proof. That's really me, uh, <laughs> my ugly mug. We'll see a lot more of this farm to come.